Yeah, I think there's there's a lot of organisations that have sprung up that are away from the mainstream medicine because I think a lot of people feel like uh, that mainstream pharmaceutical industry has been has been captured and isn't particularly doing great things for people. So people uh, like the People's Health Alliance, you know, you've got people like uh, Dr. Tess Laurie uh, who are, are doing some great work with, let's say, more uh, perhaps alternative therapies, you know, and, and perhaps stuff that the mainstream don't really kind of want you to know about, you mm-hmm. know, and, and probably CBD is one of those things comes into that bracket as well. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I think there's there's a lot of organizations, organizations that have sprung up that have uh, are trying to be a bit more open and a bit more ethical in the way that they go about giving advice on, on people's health. Uh, and I think it's important that, that, that people get to get to know about a different side of things, um, that perhaps there is a different way of, of dealing with your health than, than just a pill for every ill. Because I'm, yeah. I'm not sure that's the, the greatest way to go about things. Uh, and I think I've had a, a massive distrust of the pharmaceutical industry over the last few years. And, uh, and yeah, there are other ways of going about looking after yourself. So yeah, I spoke at the, at the um, People's Health Alliance uh, fundraising dinner uh, and I just I just spoke about my experiences uh, with dealing with the football authorities trying to get an investigation into why you know there was there was more footballers collapsing on the pitch than there than there was in my day. I put out another tweet, <laughs> copied the FIFA Pro and the PFA asking, uh, were they not a little bit concerned about what they were seeing, given that they are responsible for their for their members? And within ten minutes of putting that tweet out, I got a phone call from Bobby Barnes. And I knew Bobby, and Bobby was working at the PFA, and he rang me up and he went, Matt, he said, oh, that tweet you put, I went, all right. I said, what? He said, well, I'm head of FIFA Pro now. He said, what you put out there? He said, it's not accurate. I've got the numbers in front of me. It, it's always happened. It just doesn't get very much publicity. <laughs> and I was like, what? I said, come on, Bobby. The fact that you're not willing to investigate tells me that you know what it is, and you don't want to know. You don't want everyone to know. I ended up having a, a discussion with um, a couple of doctors that I know uh, um, who were prepared to have a meeting with the FA to put to them what they felt was happening as well. Um, and I had a meeting with the with the doctor at the FA. And um, they're the only re- so I asked for a meeting and, and Dr. Asim Malhotra uh, was prepared to come on the Zoom call with me with the doctor from the FA and put his findings uh, to her um, so the only way that she actually agreed to have a meeting with me was if I agreed that whatever was said in that meeting would not be made public what have you got yeah. to hide yeah, yeah. that's a, that's just telling me you've got stuff to hide so I agreed and we had the meeting and uh, and I've never discussed what was said in that meeting but what I did do is after that meeting whenever Another footballer had collapsed on the field of play. I would send a little message to her and go, here's another one, here's another one, and here's another one. Uh, and eventually, and I think it's November of last year, about a year ago now, uh, I got an email back from her responding to one of them, and uh, she was quite matter-of-fact about everything. She said, thanks for um, keeping me uh, informed. And uh, she said, as you know, Footballers are no longer being encouraged to have any more vaccines. Um, you touched on it a little bit there. Am I right in hearing that Bobby Barnes now left FIFA Pro? Just linked to yes. you. Yeah, okay. Yeah, Bobby's left now. Yeah. Interesting. Yes. As I was say, that is interesting. But yeah. yeah. You'd, think, you'd think that the FIFA Pro would have a database, wouldn't you, of, um, you know, because they, they have a doctor at FIFA Pro, they have a, a resident doctor there you would think he might have a database of all the people that have collapsed on the field of play um i i emailed the doctor at fief pro to ask him for it and he told me he didn't have it 